What's up, YouTubers? Uh, this video right here is a little different. I got a couple of airmen who were recently who have recently graduated BMT. Uh, I'm letting them voice their opinions on how BMT was for them and share their experiences with y'all. Give y'all a few highs and lows about it. Um, so go ahead and check it out. Let me know what y'all think. Comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If it helps you, hey, share the word, spread the word. Uh, with y'all, check it out. Let me know what you think. Here go a few of them. Right, I'm in, I'm in Rahili, and uh, my BMT experience was. It started off kind of rough in zero week. I'd have to say the, the, the worst part was probably zero week. I was in the latrine crying every night because I was homesick. But a good way that I got past that, I, I got that letter from my family, and I got to call my family. And if you keep your head up and your chin up, you'll be able to get through it. And I'd say my worst experience was probably my, when my instructor, nobody would admit to anything, so my instructor pulled out the EAL and threatened to recycle one trainee. And he, his thing, he just took, took his finger and put it on the EAL, and it just happened to be my name. And if, I'm, if it hadn't been for one of my wingmen, I wouldn't be in tech school right now. So but it, was, it, was a, it was a growing up experience. So you just keep your head up, chin up, mouth shut, ass down, ears open, and you'll get through. That's about all I got. I'm Aaron Smith. Basic training for me was uh, pretty difficult. Starts off, uh, you get beat down pretty bad, but uh, it builds you up towards the end, and it gets a lot better once you graduate. Uh, my worst experience was probably uh, always forgetting to put my hat on, and you get screamed at, and you got to do a lot of push-ups for it. So always remember to keep your Hat on when you're outside and take it off when you get inside. Know all your memory work and make sure you do PT before you come here. I am basic board. Um, basic training was pretty tough at times. You have female instructors getting in your face, you know, it's time to get in. Um, the worst thing that ever happened to me at BMT was my flight ended up having lice. So we had to go on quarantine, which we had to rewash everything in the six week of training, and that's at Beast. And if we would have it again, we would get recycled, and that sucked. I was pretty pissed off. But um, the best thing is that came out of Beast was because of it, we was able to work together and faster, and we got Warrior Flight out of it. Um, pretty much everything that's bad about it is doing your push ups, getting your face forever. It's pretty much everything that's bad for me. I had fun at Beast. And uh, that's it. Hi, I'm Aaron Jones. The best part about BMT was looking forward to eating lunch and try what we went to Beast. Beast was pretty fun. I didn't like the fact that we always had to battle rattle, but since it was hot outside, we had to take our chem gear off and bags, so we just had on ABU. So the good. worst part about BMT is trying to stay out of trouble. When you try to stay out of trouble, you get in trouble. All right. I'm A1C Esther. Just graduated uh, basic military training. DMT wasn't hard. Um, you just gotta keep your head on straight and go through everything. The first couple of weeks are gonna be hell, but it's nothing. What was your favorite that. part about BMT? My favorite part about BMT was just being with my uh, flight, and, and that's what it's all about. As long as you work as a flight, then you know shit will get done right, and your MTI won't kick your ass. What's your worst? What's the worst part about BMT, or the hardest part? The hardest part for me was getting frustrated with other people because they didn't pull their weight. So basically, it's all about you know coming together as a flight and fucking kicking ass. All right. And what's some advice for future? It's easier to training. go through BMT and get done with it than try to get out. Because if you try to get out, you're gonna be there longer. So just so you deal with what you gotta deal with. Because you end up in a 319th, and you'll be there for anywhere from six months to a year. So you can make your basic training experience six months to a year long, or you can go eight, eight and a half weeks and be done. And what are some tips for people about to come in to prepare for BMC? Um, get as much information from your recruiter as possible, because they, they know a lot more stuff than you think they do. I'm Erin Stewart, and I'm going to tell you about basic training a little bit. The questions I mainly had when I got in were going to be hygiene questions. And yes, you do shower with a ton of females, probably 20. You're going to have 20 in each bay, most likely. And then, no, you don't have time for showers. It's a pretty much wash and go. You get in, you get out. 
you're lucky if you get a lot of time, and you won't get a lot of time. Uh, in the mornings, no, you don't have time to do your hair. You throw it up in a nice sock bun. Make sure you bring gel. You have to slick that back. And the hardest part is beast, just because you have no showers. There's like three showers for all the females. The easiest thing is really catum, shooting the weapons. It's so easy. You just need to take your time, be slow, breathe, use the techniques they teach you, and you will get your markmanship. Um, I really don't think there's any anything major else that I know of. What is, what is some advice for females coming in? Hmm. Some advice I would say, don't when you're, go when you're going to tech school, don't pack a big bag. It is so hard to move. I just did that this morning, and it was a pain. I had to have Brother Flight carry it for me, and it was awful. Um, when you're coming in, you're going to buy a lot of stuff for the uh, Describe, like, PT and all that for females. For PT, you're going to have every other day you work out. Um, every other day is a run day. And that is 15 minutes. You do a self, it's not a self pace. You have an MTI running in front of the entire group and you keep up with them six paces behind them. And then you do 10 minutes of self pace, but really you need to keep up with everybody else. And then you have one minute of brisk walk, one minute of sprints, and you do that for six times. And the other mornings is the strengthening days. And you'll go through push ups, pyramid push ups sit-ups, cross-knee sit-ups, and then you'll do squat thrusts and leg lifts and that pull-ups. You also do pull-ups. If you don't know how to do any pull-ups, you're fine. It's not a big deal, but if you can do them or you can work on them, do it. It'll really help you work on your core strength. That's a major thing for females. Um, Was PT difficult for you being a female? PT wasn't that bad for me. Um, when I came in, I could only do five push-ups. Going out, I was doing 24 push-ups up to 30. So you can definitely do it. Um, same with the sit-ups. You do the you do the PT in the morning, and you will make it to the final PT eval. Um, and like I said, that's Monday through Saturday. You don't work out on Sunday mornings. Hello, everyone. My name is uh, Amber First Class Cookie Carrillo, and uh, my experience at BMT was definitely one of the most challenging experiences in my life. The best part of BMT was uh, basically being out with your, fr like I would, I wouldn't call your wing, but your friends now at that point. Having a, I guess you could say one of the, you know, the, one of the obstacle course, the, uh, the gas chamber, you know, watching, you know, your wingman go through all that, you know. It's a fun experience. The worst part about, the worst part about B, uh, BMT is, is also your wingman, because your wingman can also screw up. And you know, you gotta pick up their slack and you gotta help them out, you know. Not everyone's the same at BMT, and you know it's and everyone comes from a different part of the United States. And then having all that all together, you know, some people they just can't keep up the slack. And uh, what was your favorite part about BMT? My favorite part about BMT, oh, there's so much about BMT. Like I would say, towards the end, you know, everybody you know got together, got along. You know, we all started having fun. You know, the, I think my favorite part. From BMT officially would be like off of course. The off of course was definitely the best. You know, try not to get wet, that kind of thing. What was the hardest part of BMT for you? Hardest part about, the hardest part about BMT for me is about being about my age. I'm 17 years old. I just got out of high school. You know, I mean, people there are like at least 20, maybe at the most. I'm just there 17. You know, just a little baby to them in their eyes. You know, and trying to grow up there. Just all all of a sudden try to grow up there and try to keep up with everybody. That was the hardest part for me, but honestly, if everybody watching, if I can do it, just me being a little baby, then I'm pretty sure everybody else can do it too. And what's some advice for people that are about to come in? Uh, don't give up. Stay calm. That's the number one key. Stay calm. Do not, do not, don't, don't look frustrated. Don't get frustrated. Just stay calm. That's, that's the key. Now that was right. just a few interviews of a few airmen uh, <coughs> who were willing to share their experiences and give some advice to try and help out future Deppers, BMTers, or y'all that are watching. Um, yeah, that's just some of their personal experiences. I wanted to get more, but I didn't have enough time at the time. So, hopefully, I'll be able to get some more for y'all. Uh, the female on there, hopefully that kind of like helps some of y'all females out that are wondering or curious about anything. As far as, from a female's point of view. Uh, if not, go ahead and inbox me some questions. 
uh, and I'll be sure to make a video about it for y'all. Uh, today is what, the 22nd of September? Uh, how about this? If you send me an inbox with the subject of the message, BMT video questions, and just inbox them to me, and by October, let's say October 10th, October 10th, I'll make a video answering all of those questions for y'all. So go ahead and just inbox me that. Remember the subject, name the subject, BMT video questions. Inbox it to me. I'll check it out. Uh, also make sure you subscribe, post a link wherever, and have a great Air Force day.